Damn it. Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna hold you guys hostage for one more story because I want to talk about it because I just love this shit. So I sent you guys this in our little group chat, this open AI store stuff. It's <sighs> amazing. I'm going to play it a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna start it. I'm going to watch a little bit of it. Well, you guys always say watch. Well, I think, Sean, did you watch it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. So there's a, the first. Well, I say everyone too. has something unique about them, something that sets them apart. So right now we're watching the case, first you know, ever. Quite obvious what that thing yeah, I'm losing is. you. I'm lo oh, balloon! Oh, look at this balloon I on the video too. Literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. So, uh, windy this video, you guys suck right now. Troublesome. Huh? Hey, well, I got it. My this video got we're got watching right now was made completely by AI. The video, the audio, the music, the editing was all just by a bunch of commands. And I would say pretty clever, interesting. Yeah. Yep, pretty freaking freaking flawless. Even the script. I mean, the guy just gave in a, a uh, kind of a high summary of what they want the video to be about, and then the the uh, AI just broke it down into these into this script. And so, uh, so this is by Sora. It can't you can't the regular people on the street can't use this right now. You have to be a special invite only of get your hands on the stuff. So once this comes available to the public, holy moly, this stuff's gonna be like. Kind of crazy. Anyways, I highly recommend. I forgot what the I forgot what the name of it. Called. If you just search Sora short film, it'll come up. Um, but when I see this, I'm oh god, I thought my I thought my camera froze again. <laughs> One thing I was thinking about this too, and I didn't really say in the chat. What the things that I'm taking away from this too is like, what if you're just on your couch, you know, five two years from now? I was gonna say five years. Yeah, right. It's like two years from now, and you're like, hey, uh, hey Siri, I want to watch Jason Bourne. But put uh, take out Matt Damon and put in Chris Farley. That shit's gonna happen. That shit's gonna happen. That shit's gonna and like oh here make me a new movie with Chris Farley. You put Chris really? Farley in it too. Oh yeah, you can do that. Oh, oh sure. Snikes! It's Jason Bourne. Jason <laughs> Bourne. <laughs> um, so that's one thing that was coming to mind. The second thing was like, what if you're someone like uh, Leo DiCaprio and you're like, hey, I'm gonna sell my. Uh, my, I'm gonna get a nil. I'm gonna get a nil deal. N I L, name, image, and likeness to like MGM. Oh, you just want to buy my 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 nil, my nil. <laughs> want to buy my nil? Two billion dollars. MGM's like, sure, that's a pretty good investment, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bunch of movies with freaking Leonardo DiCaprio. He never has to show up on set again. I got this guy forever. And here's Leo. He's like, I'm cool. I got two billion dollars. So I'm thinking like, no more new actors, right? That's because that's gonna happen too. That shit's gonna no. happen for sure. No, it's not gonna happen. No, it's not gonna happen. Leonardo DiCaprio does not just want to sit still and have money. He already has money. He keeps making movies because he likes to make art. Artists want to art. He's going to be making them, but he's not going to physically be there. <clears throat> That's uh, the point. The so challenge. Yeah, I, yeah, I think, Josh, I think I, I hear what you're saying about the money, but you got to give some credit to people that like, that's like their passion. That's what they yeah. love and want to do. But and, what, if, what if Leo's like 88 years old? You know, no, 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 that that's different. Like, that part, uh, that here, part's different. Come here, nineteen-year-old girlfriend. I gotta yes. tell you, gotta tell you something in my ear. <laughs> okay, Al Pacino. But no, I get the idea. I get what you're saying. That mm -hmm. that yes, if Leo is ninety years old, they can bust mm -hmm. out twenty-year-old uh, basketball diaries, Leo, that's what and I'm talking put about. him in, put him in movies mm -hmm. like forever. Okay. I mean, yeah, I see that right now. I see that as the future. Mm -hmm. As John Wayne's gonna somehow come back on the movie sure all of happening. a sudden. Yep. Oh, but, I'm going to watch the new Jimmy Stewart movie. It's coming out in like the summer of 2027. No, but the, it's that's in the that's in the agreement that that's we in, just struck over. It's in the agreement right now, but mm -hmm. I I I think that I think that's the future. That's I correct. I I do think that eventually that that is going to be what it's going to be. Like mm -hmm. you're going to get these older movie stars and they're going to be in these AI films again mm -hmm. as their mm -hmm. younger versions. Like I think about the Irishman and like mm -hmm. what that looked like, right? Getting, you know, Al and, and um, uh, Joe Pesci and all that and getting them young, you know, all that stuff. And I'm like, that's, that's what AI is going to do. They're going to bring those. And I know right now that they not... still had the actors in that the, the people still put in the work. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying that, that the studios see that as a way to continually push out a product that's going to have those actors. Like, I mean, forgive me, but like 30 years from now, like we're not like, no one's going to be like, well, who's Joe Pesci? 
right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he's long dead after that point. Mm-hmm. But th- I'm saying they're gonna, they're going to take those young styles, those young faces, and mm-hmm. incorporate that into newer movies when this AI stuff really takes hold. Like, I see that yeah. being what's going to happen. Even, it's not going to be the Wild West. West. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll say you can even go to music too. Like, oh, let's bring, let's have Freddie Mercury start making some new songs. Well, Something they like haven't that. they haven't done stuff with that yet, but the 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 industry just stopped to fight against this. Yeah, I know. Like, Agreed. I know. Agreed. I know. Producers, writers, directors, nobody mm. wants this. Now the studios want to make money off of not spending much, so they mm. want this, but they fought against they cannot do that. So what would happen would be smaller independent mm-hmm. uh filmmakers could try to make that, but they wouldn't get the rights to it. So you would have that battle too, studios versus any right. for the rights for that. I give it five years. Yeah, so I'm saying that's a, I feel like that's a temporary contract because also what if you go like, oh, guess what? Leo's or Christian Bale's got an ass full of working for Michael Bay. I don't want to work for Michael Bay anymore. F this guy. I'm going to go make my own YouTube channel. I'm going to be making my own movies. However the, I want to tell the stories I want to tell. It's just, well, it's the greed. For me, it's the greed. The greed yeah. always wins. So mm-hmm. it's not about what's doing what's right by people. Yeah. It's what makes me the most money. And I don't like it. And that's why I'm saying mm-hmm. like, yeah, I, I don't I still like it either. Think, I still think these people, like these actors and actresses, I, I still think, and the writers and, and all the, like they're, they're going to continue to do what they do. But what I'm saying is that all it's going to take is that one AI movie that's mm-hmm. done well, mm-hmm. that is a good storyline that people go see or download or watch whatever. Mm-hmm. And then the floodgates open. Yep. That's exactly what's going to happen. I feel like too. Yeah. I'm on both of your guys' side. And I think exactly what you're saying is both. Uh, both like, I don't, are. I don't think like as a, as an art form, it dies, right? Like, I don't think that it just goes away, but I just think that this medium is going to become the norm. More who's so making, than what, mm-hmm. who's making, what do you mean? Who's making what? Who's making, think it's inevitable, the greed and whatnot. Who is making mm. this AI film with people who have not given their consent? Oh no, no I'm saying they're gonna I'm saying they're gonna buy their consent. Yes, I think so too. <laughs> I think they're I gonna, think gonna, I think gonna happen. They're, they're, they're in gonna, they're in the screen actors guild. They are not going to do that. I'm telling you, they're not going to do that. That's what just happened. Why so both of you are making the same face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who, who have you talked to in the film industry that makes you believe that? It's, I would say it's more to do with the nature of humanity when it comes to greed. Yeah. No, I mean, that's what, that's. Because you're going to be like, you're going to be, you're going to be, sorry to cut you off. Because you're going to be like, the the owners or whoever it is, like the producers of MGM, they're like, listen, uh, it's going to cost how much to bring uh, Christian Bale back in for a day of shooting? Why don't we just uh, AI it? But that was all part of the strike. They are not allowed to use AI. That is all part of the strike. We're saying we're saying that that is true today. Yeah, that is not going to be true. In we're saying five years. How'd you do? I could be a hundred percent wrong, but I think this contract is for ten years. So, like AI is going to have a place in small markets, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be in theaters. I'll tell you that. Until they start opening up AI theaters. What the fuck is an AI theater? Is that full of Android users? You're about to <laughs> hold on. Let me air. Let me, let me airdrop you my movie. <laughs> it's so much Sean. Yeah. That's exactly what Sean's saying. It's got, all it's going to take is one somebody to put together an AI movie that's going to be effing awesome. Everybody. Everybody's aware. It. Everybody's aware of how the potential here. Everybody, like that's the point. That's what they fought mm-hmm. against in the strikes but, that just happened. Yeah. But right now it's an act. Okay. So the, the Hollywood system, right now, the Actors Guild, the the theaters, all that stuff. That's like a that's like a network. Well, what if there's a new one that starts getting built out? There's an AI Actors Guild. There's <clears throat> AI theaters, and then those start becoming more and more successful, and then they start putting the other guys out of business. They're gonna have to like counter that out. I would also just as like a shitty direct comparison, and I know Garrett, you gotta like we're we're, we're striking a nerve for you, and you also have to go, <laughs> but like. The United Auto Workers, right? They had this big, huge strike with GM and and Ford and all that. And they got all this money, right? But those are those are factory workers for a, an auto production line that you could have machines come in and replace those jobs, and they're going to do that mm-hmm. because it saves those factories money. They did just strike and negotiate, and they have a labor deal, 
which is only good for so long. And then the future comes in, right? I mean, there used to be 10 times more jobs, 10 Mm -hmm. times more of those jobs available, but technology advanced. Mm -hmm. It's more automated now to build a car, right? You don't need as many people anymore. Mm -hmm. They they, they striked, Mm -hmm. they negotiated, they unionized, okay. But it's not, it's not, permanent right mm-hmm. like it's not going to be forever and I, I to me it's it's i understand art and t- you know building a car two different things but but the concept of it is the same if i am gm and i can make this car for ten thousand dollars less cost i could still charge the same for the car but it cost me 10 grand less to make i hear i hear your point that is a very good point the difference is leonardo dicaprio being like, I do not want you to use my image. I do not want to destroy the film industry. You cannot use this in perpetuity. I will protest against any movies that you use AI. If you put Al Pacino in it, I will protest against that and never give my, there's no marketing. I mean, they could do AI marketing too, but there is an entire industry that people care about what celebrities do as opposed to nobody cares about factory workers unfortunately mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. one factory worker standing outside going no they made that with robots that doesn't change the industry but i'm telling you steven spielberg going if you watch that movie it's the death of film is going to change the way people perceive that and they are not they're going to support because we want real art people want art mm-hmm. people want this it's a it's a mm-hmm. different thing <clears throat> and i'm saying that it's not going to i don't think it dies right like i think Art is art. You have a passion for art and it, it continues. But I do think there will be, uh, uh, to, to compare directly to like a sports thing, what about live, right? The PGA versus live. You had you had this uh, a, a competitive, I, I understand we're talking about art and passion and I'm saying people are still But I'm sorry, bro. Live isn't different from the PGA. It's just another version of the same with people playing. It doesn't it destroys people, the league. It doesn't destroy golf. Yeah. But they had people saying, don't do it. This is going to all these things. PGA was all about this negativity about it. And they mm-hmm. lived through billions of dollars mm-hmm. at yeah. the athletes Fair. and mm-hmm. pulled from PGA to live. But and now, pulled, now Live is a thing. Pulled from a league to another league, not pulled from golfers and gave it to robots playing golf. There's still golfers playing golf and people watching golf. It's the same thing with a different. It's like going from Paramount to MGM. It's it's it's. Yeah, but I think I think there's going to be AI characters or people that people are going to get invested in. They're going to like that AI character. They're going to like that AI AI person. And they're going to be like, oh, I'm a fan of that guy. So I want to watch this character. They're going to start to develop a personality. They're going to develop a, a social media following because they're doing cool stuff. It looks like it. And so now they're going to be like, oh, I want to watch this guy in a movie. So they're going to, they're, these AI people are going to have fans. They're going to have a following. Sure. I'd like to, you. I'd like to, you. I'd like to present, <laughs> I'd like to present a game for the next episode. And I want to, I want to present like a Red Rover, Red Rover, what celebrity is going to come over. And we, we have a list of celebrities and we uh-huh. say like a draft, who yeah. would go mm-hmm. for the money? Mm-hmm. to go to ai yeah mm-hmm. well i also just real quick too before i do too much but i think all these like you know these co- these movie companies they're they're at the end of the day they're businesses and they have stakeholders and if you're and if you're trying to sell stuff with like stakeholders they're like hey we can make how much more on our investment and people have to this? sign people have to sign off on their image and stuff no sure the, the, you, oh, well, I, I, was say, I was saying, also going to say, like, you might be, you might be correct on this new contract, but I feel like okay, if it's for ten years, after that ten years, holy moly, sure, it's going to be a whole new world. I don't. Anyway, I, don't I hope I'm wrong, Garrett, but I don't it's a problem. No, it is. It is a problem. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. It's a. It's a real thing that everybody in the industry is thinking about. It is. It is mm-hmm. a real issue. But mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's bad. News. Right. So like, <laughs> like people aren't going to just sign off on it. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Especially right now, it's way too early. But I just when uh, things get more advanced, things get better. It's hard to tell the difference. All those things it's going to make. There's going to be just going to be more companies that come out from this, and new new people do new fake AI celebrities. There's this no right now is the ten thousand <laughs> for a pizza moment of AI in film. This is Good that call. moment. Good call. This is this is true. 
maybe we'll cover it right now, but there's a, uh, there's a story I was going to share. There's an AI model. Everybody knows this AI model. She has her own, she has her own only fans. She has her own Instagram. She makes $11,000 a month. She, she makes $11,000 a month on only fans. AI hard to tell the difference too. hard to tell the difference. Okay. Well, we're all going to hell with terminators too. Okay. Um, that was, Ooh, headlines. Oh, good for you. 